All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing special here, just some little mania predictions. Huh? John Cena will defeat The Rock. I don't think they're going to make their golden boy lose two years in a row. So I'm going to go with Cena. Punk versus Undertaker. I would really like it if Punk would win. For the sake of realism, for the sake of building Punk up to be the big mega star for the next 10 years, but I think Taker's gonna be him. Sadly, the dead man, you know, he's probably gonna fight Cena in the future. Perhaps Taker against Brock. You never know, so I think Taker's gonna win. Triple H is going to defeat Lesnar. He has to get his revenge to look tough by winning a fake fight. Alberto will defeat Jack Swagger. You know, they've done all this stuff with Zeb Coulter just to build up Alberto. I highly doubt that he's going to lose. If he does lose, it's going to be because Dolph Ziggler cashes in money in the bank after Alberto wins. I really, really fucking hope that The Shield beats Big Show Orton and Sheamus. They defeated better teams. You know, Big Show, he was enemies with Sheamus all year. Then he turns face at the last second and he's partners with Sheamus, which makes zero sense. And Orton, I have no clue why he would want to fight the shield, shit like this. I hope that something happens that, you know, Orton turns on the team to become a heel or something and that shield will win. The Miz is going to defeat Wade Barrett. This is another match that they threw on the card there just like this. So they're arguing because of movies. They both made movies. They're arguing like who is the best actor. <laughs> then they have two, three boring matches this month. And apparently that's worthy to be on Mania. For what? What for? Who the fuck cares about this match? Who's going into this? Hey, can't wait for Miz and Barrett. No, nobody wants this. You know, plus they already wrestled two, three times. And it sucked. Well, didn't suck, but it was just, you know, there. Nothing good. You know, why is this on, on the Mania card? Especially when we already watched it. Ryback is going to defeat Mark Henry. If Henry does his finisher, or if, I mean, if Ryback is able to do his finisher on Mark Henry. That could be a big mania moment for Ryback. I don't see Mark Henry winning. You know, he's lost 10 million times. An extra loss won't change fuck all for him. And it would give a lot to Ryback. So, obviously, he's going to win. Um, Kane and Brian. I'm going to say that they will defeat Ziggler and Langston. You know, or possibly they could start the feud here, but, you know, they should have already started the feud, Kane and Brian, and ended it at Mania, so I think that Kane and Brian will win, plus Ziggler is going to fight for the world title, so not sure why he should be a tag champion, and why would Langston deserve to be a, a champion <laughs> at Mania? It's like his third match in the fucking company. And Jericho versus Fandango. In Fandango's debut match, people are still defending this crap. Um, I think Jericho's gonna win, but whatever. I know people, you know, they have to do their fake positive bullshit. They have to put the positive spin on everything. You know, some people just want to troll, so they, they're saying that Fandango should win. But it's his debut match, you know. This mania is meant for the best of the best. 
and the Hollywood stars and shit like this. It's supposed to be a big event. Not just jobbers like Fandango that are unproven. Jericho is screaming orders to this guy, you know, do this, do that. That's because he doesn't know what he's doing. Why is he fighting at Mania on this fucking debut? That's the point there. It makes Mania look like shit. It used to be a big event with only the best, like I said, with legit popular stars from Hollywood. Now it's Maria Menounos garbage like this and Fandango is debut. <laughs> that's, that's not okay there. Wrestlers fight for 10 years. Their dream to, to wrestle at Mania. This guy's gonna debut at Mania and it's just a little schmuck. It's not some guy that's gonna become the next Austin. It's a little schmuck from NXT with a fake gimmick and he's debuting at Mania. God damn it. This makes no sense. No sense at all. In the last match, they advertised this on their website, but they don't even list this with their matches because they're embarrassed, probably. Brodus Clay and Tensai and the two fucking G-rated strippers, Naomi and I don't remember the other one. Versus the Road Scholars and the Bellas. I think Brodus Clay is going to win, but what the hell is this? Brodus Clay, you know, he's a commercial guy, PG there. Maybe they want to push him, but why are the two strippers wrestling at Mania? They hardly wrestle on Raw or anything, and they're going to be at Mania. What? Why? Tensai with his goofy gimmick at Mania. This is an outrage this year. Okay, and the Bellas, they quit the company. They left. They're, they were gone. They just returned this month. They put them in a the couple of two-second skits with the Road Scholars, and they have a match at Mania. Why? What about Kofi Kingston that they were pushing all year? Shit like this. The Bellas are back for 10 minutes and they get a match. Fandango never wrestled unproven and he debuts at Mania. What about all the other wrestlers? Where's Mysterio, Sin Cara, guys that are there all the time? Okay, why aren't they wrestling? And why is the Bella Twins wrestling? When they were fucking gone, they left. This is dumb. Why is this even happening? You got three, four good matches there. Some have the potential of being okay that might surprise us, but the other crap is just boring shit that you would get on low-budget shows like Superstars. This... You know, an uh, eight-man woman tag match. This could be on Saturday Morning Slam. That's where it deserves to be with fucking Tensai and their stupid G-rated horseshit. Not <laughs> a fucking mania. How can you go from Hulk Hogan and big stars there to go to this horseshit? It's, it's dumb. And people say this is good. Oh, this could, this could surprise you. You know, how sad is it did you have to say that the show will surprise people? Because that's how bad it looks. It's a terrible card. That's why you guys have to say that. And even if the show is good, it might be. Doesn't mean that the show lacks importance. That it lacks a decent build and whatnot. It's, it's a dumb build. Very fucking lame. So those are my predictions. Uh, Brodus Clay's gonna win that pathetic match and blah blah blah. Shit mania this year. Shit mania. Until next time. Peace.